Hello everyone, welcome to our leaf animal project. I'm Miss Lauren and the materials you are going to need are some leaves. Unfortunately, I planned this, you know, for the middle of summer. So there weren't a lot of colorful leaves out. So we've got a bunch of fake ones, but I'm sure if you guys went out on a nice sunny day, you'd be able to find some really good ones too. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna make an owl. So we've got all of our stuff here. I'm gonna use hot glue. So if mom and dad wanna help with that, and I've also got googly eyes, but we are gonna start with our owl. And this is gonna be our Mr. Owl's body. Let's make this more like this, perfect. So this is gonna be his body. And then we're gonna put his head like this. We are gonna cut this leaf in half and we're gonna make it his wings. Oh yeah. So we're gonna cut this in half first. Perfect. Regular leaves are gonna be just as easy to cut up. And then we're gonna stick them like here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of hot glue here. And we're gonna make it look like he's got wings right there. We've got him a little bit stuck to the table, whatever, it's fine. Okay, then we're gonna make this one like that. Perfect. So those are his little, his little wings, right? A couple little wings. Next, we're gonna glue on our head. Cause the small one was just too perfect to pass up as the head of our owl. We're gonna stick that there. Just like that. We are gonna cut a little bit of a corner off of this to make his little beak. Perfect, just like that. Oops, flipped it a little bit. We are gonna just do a little dot right there. And we're gonna stick it there. And so he's got a beak. And what else do we think our owl friend needs? I think I might cut off the bottom here and then make him have some little bit of feet, maybe. Maybe if we cut the stems off of these leaves, we can make use them as his little feet. Well, that stem didn't want to participate. You know what, let's actually get some eyes on there. So our owl, I think, needs to have some medium-sized eyes. We want them to match. What do you think? Yes. Okay, so we've got one eye. Just like that, be very careful when you're using your hot glue as always. There's another. And what do we think? Does he kind of look like an owl? A little bit. Our next little leaf friend is going to be a hedgehog or a porcupine, however you want to say it. So what I'm going to start is by cutting this little stem off first because we will not need it. Get it out of here. Perfect. So what we're gonna be doing here is kind of making the spikes a little extra spiky. So we're going to add some into the spaces. We're gonna add some green and some brown like this. And then this right here is gonna be his head. It's gonna be perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue around this one. For both of them, I might have to grab a little bit more hot glue. How are we gonna do it? Just like this, so that it's extra spiky. Extra spiky, perfect. Okay, so we've got our extra spiky, ouch, leaves. Should we make it look like he's got four? Well, let's see, we're gonna glue the little eye here. This actually kind of looks like a chameleon, doesn't it? Almost. Hedgehog who, it's chameleon time. So here's that. Oh, and you know what? We're gonna make him a little nose out of this dark colored leaf. A little nose like this. And we'll stick it right there. And then he'll look a little bit more like a porcupine or a hedgehog and less like a lizard. Okay, so we've got our hedgehog and we've got our owl. Oh, the hedgehog was a little bit glued to the bottom. Okay, so here's that. Okay, 
the last leaf friend that we are going to make today is going to be a butterfly. So we are going to use this yellow one as its head. So I'm going to cut it into a little circle. Oof. The stems are a little hard to cut because they're plastic. There we go. We're good. And then we just go around a little more. Make it look perfect and round. Whoops. Okay, so we have our butterfly's head. Next, we are going to cut this slightly green leaf. We're going to cut the little edges off just like this. So that they've got a little body. And we are going to glue the head onto you. Get out of your stem. Glue the head onto the body. So a little dot there. And we glue that head and perfect. So next, we are going to do two bigger leaves on the side like this and two small leaves on the bottom like this. So we are going to very carefully do a little bit of more gluing, a little bit more gluing. Okay, so it looks like a dragonfly now, but then we're gonna add the two little ones on the bottom, just like this. And just like this. And you know what? I think I am gonna use these stems that I cut off and I'm gonna make them the little antennas on our leaves. Oof. So we're gonna turn our butterfly over. We're just doing one here, like so, and then one here. And I don't know if our butterfly needs any eyes, but I think they look pretty good. If you want to call it a dragonfly or a butterfly, whatever you'd like. But I think he looks pretty cool. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me in Leaf Animals. I hope you're able to find some colorful leaves. And if not, I hope you're still able to participate in this craft because it's very fun and a great way to get your creative energy out. All right, I'll see you guys next time.